All right, how many of you have had an instant emotional connection with other people you've never met? All right. And how many of you then, from the spirit, from the viewpoint of reincarnation, thought, must have met him in a previous life? Yeah. Okay. Well, I suppose in a way you met him from a previous life. Well, not really a previous life, but every single time you go to sleep, you are now in the spirit world. And you have lots of interactions in the spirit world every single night you're asleep. Lots of interactions. Right? And many times you're setting up meetings for people that you, know, that you want to meet on earth and you're setting up to be in certain places, certain times. You can do all sorts of things in this state. Which when you wake up, you're often not conscious about. But some of you are, right? Some of you are conscious that these are actual events. So what happens is you meet them in up there, you meet them in the spirit world, right? have a great rapport, you really get along great. So what do you do? You set up a meeting in your awake state. Right? And lo and behold, that meeting occurs in your awake state. And what are you going to feel? I know this person. And the answer is? You do. It's quite simple. So H.I. Personal meaning is, is, is a, is a, a materialised well. spirit, exactly a real person. Yeah, and both of you, when you're asleep, meet in the spirit. Oh, sorry, okay. I'm yeah. Sorry, yeah. And this happens all with every single night. Are they random meetings? Sorry? Are they random meetings? Some are random meetings, just like they would be here on Earth. Others are planned meetings where you meet them through a friend, through a friend, you know, and things like that. That all happens just like it would here. And it's great actually, because it lets you set up things. Many of you I've already met, in, I met in the sleep state before I met you here. You know that, many of you. Sorry? <laughs> uh, yes, by the way, when you're up in this state, oftentimes you are predicting things in the future. You can feel things in the future. And so you know you're going to be in a certain place at a certain time, and then you have this deja vu experience when you're there. Take notice of because they mean something to you. Right? Just take notice of them. This is something. Something's going on. There's something's telling me. Something's reassuring me that I'm on the right path here. You know, I'm, I'm doing what I planned to do when I was in the sleep state. Hey, Jay, how come we can't remember? A lot of us can't remember. Uh, mostly because of fear. If, if you could remember, I've got a pad beside my bed with right. a pen, ready to write it all down. Yeah, you yeah, don't do that. Deal with your fear. Do with your fear about the spirit world, your fear about knowledge. <coughs> Many of you are afraid of the things you've seen in the spirit world. Many of you have seen grotesque faces in the spirit world, for example, which are the faces of spirits who are in dark conditions. And many of you in your awake state are afraid of that. So let yourself deal with those fears. I don't feel I'm in fear. I know you don't feel it, but, the, but your law of attraction is proving to you there's an issue. So go with it. See, if I'm not remembering these experiences, then my law of attraction is saying to me, all right, there's a reason why I'm not remembering these experiences. If you want to, deal with the emotions in that. So if the emotion is, I'm not remembering, I'm feeling frustrated, go with your frustration, go into your anger, go into the rage. You know, let yourself follow that thread down the rabbit hole into your emotion that is actually being triggered by your not remembering. Yep, totally. You do that all the time, don't you? <laughs> How many times in a day do you think, I want to chat to such and such? Right? And the very next moment sometimes, who do you get a call from? Yeah. Exactly the person that you were just thinking of, right? Why did that happen? Because there's this whole thing going on, right? Can spirit take your drink away? Uh, a spirit can't take away things from you with regards to dreams. Uh, no, it, you do that through your own choices, through their own, your own fears, actually. Dreams, remember I've talked about dreams, two, two states of dream is it's either a real event in the spirit world or it's a law of attraction dream helping you address an emotion. It's one of those two things.